Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking Android box. This is called Buzz TV's X5. Yes, this comes with 4GB of RAM, 128GB internal storage and a gigabit LAN and their Wi-Fi now has antennas. We will capture everything in this video and before we forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So here are all the components that are part of the box. So it comes with this little paper that is just a QR code so you can use your phone as I'm showing you right now. And that way you will be able to play with your smartphone or if you need a quick start guide, it's going to be in this page. Except that this is very nice, it's just one page and that's it. It comes with this power cable. Now with the 128 gig, they're going to give you a power site and then the USB. And this we will be able to connect it to the universal power supply or they call it global power supply which we're going to show in a couple of seconds. Now here is the little box for the global power supply as they name it and once you open it the components that are part of it is a few little header. Now you can see that which part of the world you're from. This could be hooked up we will show in a couple of seconds and this one is another one and you're also going to get the now if you need it for Canada and United States it is it's part of the actual power connector. Now I have to say that this power brick is created for Canada United States. It is 5 volt 2 amps and here you go this is how it looks. So if you want to connect it you just have to bring this out and now you will be able to connect it to the wall and if you look in the back part of it you have a connector right over here. So that way the USB part that we got with the wire will be connected and their buzz logo is right underneath of it. It also comes with this HDMI cable and they also package it with Energizer AAA batteries. Now the remote is a little bit different design than before and it is inside of a plastic so once you take it out this is how nice the remote looks. Total different design. It is backlit and this is Bluetooth and IR. So if you look in the back, you have that little indentation so you can put your fingers when you want to hold it, the top part or the bottom part. And when you look at the back, open it up, it takes two AAA batteries, the batteries are included in the box, and they also have that little QR code. So that way you can use it, or if you want to pair it with your box, this will really help you out. But when you look in the front, you have the power right on the top, you have your source, you have that little LED light, you have the Revine, play and pause and fast forward, menu, the buzz button so you can go to the app, and also you have the guide, full navigation key with the OK in the middle, and then you have the return, the static mouse, also the home button. Now when you go in the bottom part of it, you also have this so you can go back and the information, your volume up and down and channel up and down, your color coded keys, and then the numeric buttons, your page down and page up is in the bottom. Look in the bottom part of it, they have their logo printed really nicely. But when you go around, here's the IR sensor. And that's how the remote really looks. We will put this in a test in a few seconds. But I like that little part that they have placed. So that way when you put it on the ground, it doesn't really move that much. I like that. Now comes the big part, the actual box itself, sitting inside of a plastic so it doesn't get scratched up. But once you take it out, this is how the box looks. I really like it. They have the antennas this time. I really like the way that they have placed everything together. So the box itself, on the top and also in the bottom, but the way that it looks is beautiful. I like that little design that they put. This part is printed, but these parts have a little ridge. You can go up and down to it. This is also a print. I really like that. It looks like these are the screws. Beautiful. Now go into the front part of it, just the LED light and then the IR sensor. Now going to the sides of it, you have a micro SD card reader, which can read up to 128 gig. You have a USB 3.0, USB 2.0. Go into the back part of it, you have the antenna part, which by the way, you can take it out. 
So just in case if you need a bigger antenna for your Wi-Fi, you can go to your local computer store and you can buy another bigger antenna, just like for your Wi-Fi router. You can do the same thing for this and that way your Wi-Fi gain will be more. Right beside that you have an AV port and then you have an Ethernet connection which is a gigabit LAN. You have HDMI 2.2 on this one and also you have optical audio connections. You can connect it to your stereo system and then you also have the power connection which is 5 volt 2 amp and another antenna so this way dual antenna is going to be covered. Going on this side there's nothing there. In the bottom you have four little legs so that way you can make it sit on the table properly and it does not move that much. And then going in the bottom again, you have a lot of holes for ventilation. You can see right inside of it. And then you have this little part, which will tell you what model you have and which version you have. And then you have your Buzz logo. Now also they have their FCC and also where they are made. And a little sticker, which I'm going to cover it up, has your MAC address and your serial number, just in case you ever need it. But this is how it looks. All right, enough said about it. Let's get this connected. In order to connect, we are always going to connect the HDMI wire first and then the power. And if you have your air mouse remote, go ahead and connect it now. And then you will see that little blue light in the front. That means it is turning on. So for the very first time when you're turning it on, you should see this logo and it should go to an animation. And then it goes to the screen that you need to pair your remote. So let's do that. You have to grab your remote and then press the OK button and the Home button together for a couple of seconds. And let go once it says that it is found. Now give it a couple of seconds. And now we can set up our box very easily using the remote. So you do not have to even point it to the box. Just press English. In this case, I live in the Eastern region, so I will select that. Since I'm capturing it at the meantime, it is 1080p, so I will select 1080p. And make sure that this little blue line is all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to do that and say done. Now, if you're not connected via LAN connection, you have to click on this. And now it will look for your Wi-Fi names. And you have to select the proper one and that way you can connect. So this is my main one. I'm going to select it. Once you enter your password, just click done and it should automatically take you inside. And yes, now it will go through to check for updates and I don't believe any updates are available yet since this unit comes pre-loaded with the proper software and it is up to date. So now it's going through to install the apps for you and this is their main look. Yes, it's a little bit like the 4900s, but they have some little twist to it. We have the Buzz logo on the top, then we have settings, we have time and date, and then the temperature. On top of that, we also have live, VOD, PVR, and EPG. I have heard from them that they're going to place one more icon over here. On top of that, they have the all apps, which you have access in the bottom. And then once you start playing with it, you will see differences once we go to it and we will show you what the differences are. Except that you have your favorite shortcuts for your favorite apps. You can add it by just clicking here. And as an example, I'm just going to add Disney Plus and say yes. And now it is added. You see that? That's how easy it is. Except that this will take you to Aptoid. And then all of your apps are in the bottom. We will take you one by one inside that C to show you exactly how good they have. I want to mention that when you go to settings, this is how the settings really look. So now you have access to go to server settings right from here. Also, you can go to your Wi-Fi, which we are connected. Bluetooth is on. And also, if you connect it via LAN, it will tell you connected. Underneath of it, you can also go to your update. 
you can change your background to something different, which we will do, and also the buzz utility. So when you go to it, there's a lot more options inside of it, which we will cover in this video. And we will go one by one to show you what they can do, what you can do. All right, so now we're going to do some checking up on the box. Number one, we will go into YouTube app. So you can see that as a default, it always plays at us 1080p because of your connection. But you can go into settings, click on it, and then you can change it from auto to 2160p, which is 4K, and it plays it very nice and smoothly. That's not it. Now, when we try to play it, and I'm just going to show you something on the top that the viewpoint or the frame rate right now is set up as 1080p that we are capturing it. There is zero frame drop, and you can see how many is going. This is running on 4K, but in 30 hertz and then you can see this part that this also runs on 30 hertz if you look down the codex that is using is av01 which is the new kodak that this chip can handle and also it is running on opus which is perfect now this is a little detail that we always want to bring up and show you guys exactly how good the boxes can bring up pictures using something like the app youtube now the next thing we want to go through is going to be geekbench so once you go into it, we got 154 for single core and 544 for multi-core. Remember, this is OS 11 running on X4 chipset or S905X4 chipset with 4 gigabyte of RAM. That's why this is running a lot better. Now, the next thing we want to capture is going to be AIDA64. Now, this is a little bit different, so we will select system and once you go to it you can see that the tv version is there and also the manufacturer is droid logic which is perfect model numbers properly written now going down you have four gigabyte of ram and the storage on this is 128 but you can see how much is available is because the os itself going to partition and uses that much of its space and then for your recovery also there's a needs a little bit of a space and on top of that when you are going to install other apps it will take some space and the Bluetooth on this, I know it says 4 plus, but we already have it on the paper that this is 5.0 Bluetooth, which is perfect. This is ARM Codex A55, which is running on 2004 megahertz, which is beautiful. The chipset itself is a 64-bit chipset, but it has been normalized and making it work on this board itself as 32 bit the cores that are running you can see what numbers they are going through and also the cpu utilization is there and the scaling governor on this is a little bit scheduled using gpu molly g31 it is a single core which is running on 60 hertz and the OpenGL is 3.2 which means is if you want to install games on it it should not lag or even give you a little breakage, which we will show in this video in a couple of seconds. Now, when you go under network, yes, you can see that five gigahertz band, it is supported. And you can see the link up and the frequency, everything is set up properly. Another thing is the actual Android version, which is 11, it's called Red Velvet Cake. And the API is on 30, so it's a little bit higher than the day before, which is really good. And all of the other information that you really require is underneath of it. And here you go, the terminal portion of it. So you can see that the SOC terminal, which is going to be the actual CPU, is running only on 46 Celsius and regular. And that is really good. So that's the maximum that you can get. And the DDR on this is right now running the same amount. The battery does not really matter because we have AC connection to it and it is running normal too. And the next thing we want to go to is going to be codecs. So if you have to scroll all the way in the bottom, you can see a lot of codecs that is running. So H.264 is there, VP9, VP8, and we go up as MPEG4, VC1, Dolby Vision is there too, just in case if you ever need it. And here is AV1. So these are the stuff that you guys are always asking for. So it's all underneath of AID64 under codecs that you can find them. Just to cover one part before we forget and go to live section to make these type of apps work on the boxes itself. Now, the next thing I wanted to capture and I want to talk about is going to be the speed test. Now, a speed test is a little bit different. So here we go. I'm just going to blur out and tell you exactly what we got. So we connected to 5G network and we are a little bit far. But I have to mention that I have a gigabit Wi-Fi 32 megabit 
of upload. So here you go for first try on a Wi-Fi, we received 350 for a download and 31.6 for our upload while there is about 10 to 11 other devices connected right now and we are also testing another box. On top of that we have for the second time when we tried it we got 386 which went up a little bit so if you click on it you can see that that it, the arc was really nicely going through and it was going roughly about 400 and coming back down to 386 and our upload rate was diving down but it got back up and our ping was really good so that is for the second time when we tried with wi-fi when we went to LAN, because this is a gigabit LAN, you can see that it automatically just went up to almost 900 and came down to 858 for the first time and our upload rate was really good which is 31.1 and our ping was 10 which is really low another time that for the last time when we tried we even got better numbers it was 877 you can see the arc is nice and smooth and then for our upload rate we got 31.3 which is a beautiful number for something box like this so i have to mention that they have really paid attention this time on wi-fi itself that's why we got the antenna so you can get more gains out of it and also for your lan connection to get a proper number this is a little bit of a change i believe they changed the chip on this box in order to get these type of numbers but again this is excellent i really like this on this type of box i wanted to mention that playing with this box was a breeze but there are some compatibility issues something like netflix is not compatible with this box yet and that's why we didn't show it in this video one more thing i want to mention is playing games with this is a breeze it's beautiful you can play it doesn't matter what game you want to play it just going to play it for you properly now some games do require to have a gaming handset and you can pair it using the Bluetooth and there is very small amount of latency when you're playing with it except that this is beautiful. Now all the links will be available where you can order this from and if you need more assistance please don't worry ask at the bottom of the video we love to help you out ASAP. Except that this was Exitex take, yes. And if you have any kind of recommendations or any kind of updates, please ask at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out. That I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.